even one that's pissed off, you know, he can control one. Yeah, and they're not gonna well. get aggressive. I mean, even the wild ones, just because they are so, I don't know, they're so aerodynamic. They have the the bones so tiny that every wound is like fatal to them. They cannot hunt if they have if they have the smallest wound. So they are very careful. They don't attack things they know are not food. They don't know for sure are food. There has actually never been a recorded cheetah attack ever. Yeah, well, that's I, saw. I was watching this guy. It was some video or something. He was like wrangling cheetahs. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, I mean, they're wild cheetahs, and he's just treating them like they were, you know, a dog or something. I mean, they were just completely, you know, well, you just grab them behind the neck, and you know, yeah, they got teeth and claws, but you just, yeah, you know, just make sure you don't get you with them. Can you imagine the balls that it takes to grab a fucking cheetah by the sh scruff of the neck? Like that, when Gary said it takes a man to do that, like that he wasn't kidding. Like that's a man. I, I, I can't even imagine a situation where I would grab a cheetah by the scruff of the neck. I would just try in vain to run from it. It's like that alligator guy, you know. <laughs> he was an idiot, but <laughs> damn. You know, he'd stick his hand in anything. <laughs> you'd watch him and you'd say, don't put your hand in there, you fuck. Don't, no, don't do that. You know, he'd do it. You know, well, there might be a heel monster under here. I'll go stick oh, my hand in there and find out. Yeah, but it depends on the animal. I mean, crocodiles, that, that's really dumbass. It, it, something is gonna happen, you know that. I, I would never go near a crocodile or a bear or a lion. But a cheetah, I think I, think I could deal with a cheetah. The, the crocodile hunter was killed by a fucking stingray. Like, that's just poetic justice. That's just poetry. <laughs> yeah, it was oh. really just so. You know, if he, if he knew that ahead of time, he'd just be like, ah, oh, fuck. You know, I mean, you know, you, you can't even come up with a good irony, but yeah, it's like a tightrope walker dying by what, like stepping on a crack in the sidewalk or something, or I don't know, some kind of metaphor, but it was just like. I wonder if, you know, like, the composer the having a piano fall on him. Together. I wonder if the crocodiles and the alligators like got together and raised funds to like help the stingrays out in the world, you know? Anyway, you know, I actually snagged a big old stingray once. I was fishing in Florida off a bridge. And, you know, he didn't go after the food, but he just ran into my line and hooked himself. <laughs> and, and, you know, I was just watching it, you know, I was like, holy shit! And I'm like, a hundred feet up at a bridge, and so it's like, no way I can reel this fucker in. And so you just kind of just, yeah, okay, I'm going to pretend like I'm fishing him. And, you know, I just, just was like waiting for the moment when it's really going to get tight, you know, and then all of a sudden the line just goes, ping! <laughs> you know, that was the end of that. But uh, it was kind of fun for a minute. Like, yeah, I got into something. Hey, uh, Gary, not to switch the subject, but I noticed retroactively a video I made a couple of weeks ago that I kind of ripped you off. Like, uh, I made a video about the whole Drama Muhammad Day thing and, and about how religious people need to grow the fuck up. And then, like, two days afterwards saw your video <laughs> that you had made 12 hours before. So, yeah. Yeah, I saw that somewhere else too. Somebody else used the term grow up and I said, Oh man, I thought I stole it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh shit. Uh, uh too many people using this term. It's just kinda of pitiful that that's the best the atheists have come up with, you know. Oh, our plan is, is we're going to draw some draw funny some pictures funny of you pictures people, of people, people and then <laughs> solve all our problems. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of Emily, uh, either mute your mic or I'm going to rip your mouth. Rip your mouth. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> What's the alternative? Mute your mic or we'll just kind of put up with it because you're kind of cute. <laughs> Suck my dick. Oh, you wish you had a dick, you little slut. Well, yeah, are you fucking kidding me? You are a cow molester. Oh, yeah, okay. so yeah. Open your mouth. Okay, open your mouth. Now, we're, we're just open your mouth. Open your mouth. Yeah, it's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> Her mouth.
mouth fell out the door. It was cute! <laughs> Yeah, well, as soon as a girl says, suck my dick, <laughs> you know, that just turns me right off. Yeah, that's yeah. not... Uh, like, since when do you have one? This is the first time I'm ever to do them. When chicks co-opt, like, man sayings. Man sayings. Hey, the Chad. Hey, What's, the up? Chad. What's up? Yeah, it's like chicks fart or something. It just doesn't work for me. What's going on, man? I'm drinking wine. First time I got to say that I actually agree with them in the month. How did uh, everybody feel about uh, Nuke's channel getting hacked? Uh, she was pretty happy. Pretty weird, I don't know, this whole hacking thing. I mean, what the, what, do you have some kind of stupid password like, you know, nuclear night? I mean, what? The, I mean, I'd just be curious how. Yeah, somebody how, can did you, it. how can you hack a channel? Both of her channels got hacked and her email got hacked. Yeah, but it's she probably because she has the same password. Yeah, if you have the same password, it's easier for people to hack into everything, every shit you have. But I was just wondering, how, how do you hack a password? How do you do that? Can you, can you like, take measurements to protect yourself? Is there anything you can yeah, do? No. They have programs. <laughs> <or what? laughs> they take, take, take measurements. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, Spyware. Yeah, all you can do is change it a lot. But well, yeah, the only thing I can say is that ain't huh? easy. Huh? Mm. And don't give it to anybody. <laughs> you know, <laughs> don't email it to anyone. I ain't popular enough to get hacked, anyways. I only have like 36 subscribers. <laughs> Nukes in it for the drama, anyways. So for her to get hey, hacked come on, is it sucks beneficial. To get her channel hey, I like Nuke like and that. everything, but. Truth is the truth. All I gotta say is just change your password frequently, have a lot of passwords for different accounts, and as far as Nuclear Knight, this whole shit goes, I don't agree with a lot of what she says, but yeah, there has to be something to stop this hacking, flagging shit. Yeah, get off of YouTube. Yeah. It's funny how on Twitter. Wow. People get falls DMC'd all the time. Yeah, well, I mean, there's look, no people, way that no people way can, that, like, yeah, yeah. try to... I, I think she, she ought to just say, look, I sent an email to YouTube, or I did this, or I did that. I mean, she's just kind of ambiguous about the whole thing, because obviously there'd be an obvious thing, like, okay, yeah, your site has all this feminist crap on it, and all of a sudden there's porn on, on it. Obviously, there's a problem, blah, blah, blah. You think she'd get that fixed, but it just seemed too... I mean, yeah, I hate to say it, but yeah, it just seemed like she was in it for the drama. I lost she likes 13 drama. videos. She likes drama. You know. Anyway, the the so. thing with you know changing the password often and that that doesn't work. I mean that doesn't work for me. I, I forget the password. I have different passwords for all my all my accounts. But when I did this, you know, when I was really paranoid and I was changing it constantly, and you have that green thing, you know, your password is weak, and then it gets you know orange, it's stronger, and then it gets strong, you know. It's green. I was like, hey, motherfucker, you want some more? You know, I was throwing in some numbers. Oh, you want some more? I was throwing in some letters <laughs> as well. And, of course, I forgot it in, like, a week. <laughs> what the fuck was the password? <laughs> gotta write that shit you know, down. Here's what you do for that. If you can make a password that's so complex, all you need to do is just copy and paste it. Like, Facebook password, copy and paste it, and save it. That way, no matter what password you're gonna have, you're still going to remember it. Yeah, I actually write the password on my bookmarks so when I make a bookmark for a site that has a password I retitle the bookmark with the password in it and and usually my passwords I have one sequence of numbers or letters that are familiar and then I'll leave one of those out so I'll know so we don't wouldn't even be an accurate one so even if somebody stole my bookmark they still wouldn't have the final one letter that would be missing because I know those three letters always go together or whatever the thing is so but anyway, that's what I do. Um, but yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's just you just can't, you know. I think people end up giving passwords.